I just feel so doped out. Oh my gosh. I think that the surgeon I'm going to have the surgery with, I wanted him to be in the know on the situation because I think it is important. Hey guys, it's Thursday, still didn't receive anything. However, I got something else, super exciting. If you work in digital marketing, paid search specifically. If you do this job and your client spend is above a million dollars per quarter and you've been doing this for a couple of years, long story short, basically you earn points based on your spend. I didn't know about it and none of my colleagues knew about it until we actually looked into it and we discovered that we had a shit ton of points from like two years ago. With this points that we've accumulated after so long, we were able to choose various things. So what we've done, we've divided everything equally between between our colleagues and I got 10,000 and my friends, got, like everyone got 10,000. And if you go on Google Partner a merch shop you will be able to see various things that you can get for this point and with my 10k i was able to choose between google pixel chromebook um airport or something i don't know so much stuff anyways i chose a chromebook and i just received it this stuff cost 500 pounds you know 500 600 pounds and this just came out of nowhere and I just got it for free. When shit like this happens out of nowhere, I don't even know how to react to it. You know, this computer situation, guys, got me thinking. When I moved to London seven, eight years ago, I came here to study on a student visa and I didn't have much money. I was struggling a lot to pay for my education and to live in London and it was such a difficult time for me. I didn't have money to eat. I didn't have money to like go to school and I would just walk there and back. I would just eat bread. That was it. And luckily I had a laptop that I brought to study and I remember in the first year of my studying my laptop was really bad and it was quite old and I remember doing my research paper and something and I was spent so much time on it I was so proud of it as well and I was just so excited about it anyway I finished working on it and it was time for me to submit it and stuff and my laptop broke it literally broke down and I lost all of that I lost everything and so I lost my work, right, and I had to had to do everything all over again. But I didn't have a computer. I had to walk on weekends to the freaking library and use old ass computers they had there to basically try and recuperate any of my work that I've done. But it was not the same. And I was trying to find like a cheap laptop to buy, and I just couldn't because I didn't have money. And I remember one of my lecturers said that sometimes companies uh, just throw away their old computers, and when they do like refurbishments or something like that. And I was trying to look into that, and I was trying to go on like Craigslist and stuff, and I couldn't find anything, and and I couldn't get anything on financing. I don't know what happened, but at some point I did manage to get a laptop eventually i got to a stage where i was able to get it but until then it was a fucking mission and now look at me now like i have a computer i got a freaking laptop for free from my work that like my personal laptop and it's just such a drastic change from where i used to be and where i'm now it's crazy i still i still can't believe it it's literally it doesn't make any fucking sense in my head Hey guys, remember I told you earlier today that I want to make a toy for my kittens out of this box and I'm just going to do it now because I'm in the mood.
Hey guys, it's Friday the 2nd of July and I just got in touch with Lucas Queenie's secretary asking her when I should be expecting a report from him and she got back to me right away saying that because my case is a bit complicated, Lucas Queenie needs more time to discuss it with his orthodontist and I appreciate that. I appreciate it, that they are taking time to look into things in more detail and all of that, you know. But in the meantime, I also reached out to my treatment coordinator, telling her the full story, saying that I found the surgeon that I feel confident about and she should be expecting communication coming through from him because she will be in CC with everything and all of that, you know. So. I'm still at the waiting stage and it is a little bit nerve-wracking because from what I heard from other surgeons they said that my decompensation and that's a totally different surgery I'm talking about now shouldn't be 100% complete because if it does happen the movements that he was planning to make would not be ideal and my decompensation process should be like 70% complete as opposed to 100. So I'm freaking out about that a little bit. The longer it takes for them to assess the situation, the longer it takes, the higher the chances of something going wrong. I mean, I'm not too worried about it, but I am at the same time. I don't want to mess up um, just because, you know, I hope that they align on everything sooner rather than later. And I'm hoping to start the AXA process. That would be the most nerve-wracking thing because, oh my fucking god, if my insurance company doesn't cover it, I'll just... I don't think I'll be able to afford this. In the meantime, I'm going to see an, uh, a petition today. I'm hoping they'll shed some light onto the fact that my eyes are super sensitive to light. They hurt. I can't literally, if I am to walk outside right now, like, I can't even look outside a window. It hurts. Oh my fucking god. So, um... I've been to the eye doctor yesterday uh, because the sunlight hurt my eyes so much when I just woke up and I wanted to get the tinted glasses and they said that they can give me glasses that change color when I'm outside and I didn't even know they exist. So yeah, I'm waiting for that but in the meantime I literally just put my usual sunglasses on top of my actual glasses. <laughs> I probably look like an idiot but I really, I really don't care. Yeah, so I had to come to Central for an appointment the most hilarious thing happens on the way as i was walking in the region where i live currently as i was walking towards the station i was wearing sunglasses and all um and i think that the surgeon i'm going to have the surgery with lives in that same area because i saw him jogging i'm not sure if it was him but it was somebody that looked exactly like him i think at some point i'll ask him about it but it's really funny, I think. Hey guys, so it has been a while since I've shown you my flower situation. To tell you the truth, I thought that all of these guys were dead. There was hot weather and they all died. And I kind of gave up on them. I just left them here. And now, these guys started to grow again. I don't have high hopes for them, but if they grow, they grow. But this one, check this out. Guys are growing like crazy. So, so as you might know, I'm waiting for a lot of things. Well, actually, you don't have it. So, I'm waiting for my surgery report. Still, it is Monday the fifth, I think, of uh, June, July. So, I'm hoping, I'm hoping this week I will get the freaking report and start the insurance process because it is the biggest concern of mine i hope that insurance won't take long usually insurance takes like a week to process applications are heard but you never know okay so that's the most important thing that's why i'm waiting for this freaking report so much but also i kind of want to know what his general thoughts are on the situation so that's the first thing uh the second thing is my brother is having a second baby in about a week or even earlier and to commemorate the occasion i have sent them a parcel a month ago and i'm actually from belarus originally i've sent a parcel a month ago through fedex but because my country is going through a bit of a political drama the parcel has been stuck at customs first in poland for two weeks now it's been in belarus in minsk at the customs for a week so it's been three four weeks since i sent it and it was supposed to be just one week to get to my brother 
this parcel needs to get there this week because the baby's about to come out and I bought all these little things and pieces for the child so that's the second thing I'm waiting for and stressing about another thing is I went to the opticians they told me my eyesight got worse amazing news I'm waiting for these sunglasses that get darker in the sunlight and those guys will take about two weeks to arrive so that's the third thing I'm waiting for but other than that I don't know man yeah, nothing, nothing much, nothing new.